The Olympic Games in Paris have concluded, with athletes across all disciplines pushing themselves to their limits to claim their spots on the podium. Today, Science plays an indispensable role in athletic achievements, not through the development of advanced technologies such as high-quality running shoes but also by enhancing sports techniques. Everything needed to run and swim faster, jump higher, and be stronger than the competitors. This investment in innovation is also evident in cycling competitions. Bicycles today are lighter than before, better designed, and more customized to the rider's physique. Helmets are now more comfortable and aerodynamic, and even the clothing is meticulously engineered. Cyclists often rely on their teammates, forming strategic formations that reduce air resistance and help conserve energy for the race's critical moments. And what about posture? Researchers from Australia have been analyzing the most efficient cycling positions for speed for over a decade. Against the wind Cycling is a popular and widespread sport globally. It's no coincidence that the Tour de France, the world's largest cycling competition, attracts enormous media coverage and is often considered the third most important international sports event, after the Olympic Games and the FIFA World Cup. Since their invention in 1819, bicycles have gained a reputation as light, inexpensive, and practical means of transportation. They also played a significant role in the women's rights movement in the 19th and early 20th centuries. To excel in cycling from a competitive standpoint, potentially ranking among the top contenders in events such as the Tour de France or the Giro d'Italia, requires specialized skills. A 2018 article in the International Journal of Sports Physiology and Performance outlined key guidelines that could enhance cyclists' performance. Notably, researchers from Edith Cowan University in Australia found that adjusting posture on the bicycle could increase a rider's speed by up to 3.1 miles per hour during race-critical moments, particularly during the final sprint. For professional cyclists, this gain can be the decisive factor in determining their ranking against competitors, whether in head-to-head -head contests or while leading the peloton. Let's look at some statistics. In professional men's cycling competitions, the average speed during the sprint phase is about 39.7 miles per hour, typically lasting between 9 and 17 seconds. For women, the average sprint speed is around 33.4 miles per hour, with sprints lasting from 10 to 30 seconds. During sprints, the mechanical power output generated by the average male cyclist ranges from 13.9 to 20.0 watts per kilogram, and from 10.8 to 16.2 watts per kilogram for the average female cyclist. However, mechanical power output isn't the only factor influencing victory, environmental factors also significantly impede progress during a race. 